Man, I don't even know how much that last video got cut off. My camera just stopped recording, so I'm going to go back a little bit. Because I was talking about this load, about smoke tarping. And I said, this is, you know, this is a smoke tarp. I don't have a stack. Stacks. All right. Our uh, trucks, we got exhaust on the ground called grass burners. Look in there. You see it down there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but that's why we do this. But it's, it's more for road debris for us. All right. Like I was saying, we always put a half turn in straps like this that are on the outside. Unless it's something I can get real, real tight like lumber. You know, you get lumber real tight. But this is styrofoam. You don't want to damage the styrofoam on top. Because it'll pull a, a crease into it. It'll never come out. And that product could be damaged. And the receiver could file a claim and not accept it. But what I was saying about this trail, you know, I, I got this. This is a foreign strap with a portable uh, ratchet. I had to protect this because it's metal. You know, you'd be driving. This thing is constantly doing this. You know, eating into this product. You don't want, you know, that's quite a few pieces of, of uh, styrofoam board. You don't want that messed up. All right, so I kind of protected that a little bit the best I could with the uh, rubber friction mat right there. But the reason why I had to use it, if you look on this trailer, now this this is a, it can go from spread axle, all right, and this axle right here will slide to this position to make it a tandem. I had to do that yesterday to get in that little tight place because tandem axles turn a whole lot better and follow the truck better. Spread axles, they just do what they want and be all over the place, man all over the place but i had to make a video of sliding that axle if y'all because i know some people that work for prime don't even know how to do it they ride around with this thing because you're supposed to have the airbags down if you work for prime you know what i'm talking about you see same thing over here there's no winch right here because when you slid this tire forward it would hit you just got to get to that wheel well all right but that's that trailer man Would have had a little bit more time making these videos this morning, but my dog wanted to have all kinds of accidents. So, we got it cleaned up though like it never happened. So this is a different kind of headache rack right here. You look at this guy's truck, that was an open headache rack. I don't really like those. Obviously, you don't have as much space, you know. And they call them headache racks because uh, it's supposed to reduce the headache. <laughs> Seriously though, like if your load was to shift forward, they think that's going to act as a barrier to like try and stop it. And I don't have a, a picture. Uh, I don't see the uh, other ones around here. But some of them you've probably seen have a board, uh, uh, aluminum, uh, like, five-foot wall right here, a little board. That's called a headboard. And they don't have to carry a headache rack. So, actually, they lifted the law recently that says you don't even have to have a headache rack. You see, he got that pipe right there, smoke tarp right there. He's going too fast for me to keep up with that. But that's all I got, man. I wish we had some toolboxes like that, though, on the trailer. Those toolboxes right there, those two, that would be amazing. But we don't keep our trailers, so that would be just a waste, too, at the same time. But there'd be a lot of extra space to carry stuff. You see, he got his bulkhead on the back of the trailer right there, the wood chained down. I got mine some on the front. You know, I don't, I'm not carrying all that wood. That's too much. But you see it here, man. You guys have a good morning. And we're going to beat feet over to uh, New Mexico over on the north side of Albuquerque. Peace out, guys.